and your bill pay okay that's what's going to go in here okay now you can see just from the contingency table we have that there's 10 Vodafone bill pay customers there they are right there okay so 10 chances out of 100 so the vote the probability here is 10 out of 100 okay in relation to this one here it's what's the probability that you're a Vodafone customer and you're a Go customer just from the contingency table, we can see Vodafone and your pay-as-you-go, there's 10 chances out of 100. So in this case here, there's 10 chances out of 100 also. Okay, And we can continue in this fashion. Okay, Let's look at the air customers. Okay, If we look at air, we have, well, what's the prob... This probability here is that you're an air customer, Okay, and you're a bill pay customer. This probability here is going to be you're an air customer, and you're a go customer, pay-as-you-go. So the probability that you're a air customer and bill pay, okay, this is getting a bit messy here, okay, uh, is equal to, well, how many air and bill pay customers are there? The air customers are here and the bill pay customers are here. So there's five air and bill pay, which gives us five chances out of 100. And then finally here, these people here are air customers and their go customers pay as you go so this probability is the probability that they're air and their go customers which gives us in this case here well air and pay as you go there's 40 chances out of 100 so there's 40 chances out of 100 here okay and these probabilities here okay uh, the we have an and being used these are known as the joint the joint events the joint probabilities okay probabilities okay or the joint the joint the joint events okay now there is another way that we could calculate the probability that you're a Vodafone and a bill pay customer using the multiplication rule let's have a look at that okay so the multiplication rule so I'm going to look at how to calculate these probabilities the probability that your Vodafone and your bill pay let's say the probability that your Vodafone and your go uh, the probability that you're let's say air and bill pay i'll just skip the middle branch here don't forget that actually breaks off into two as well okay giving us one two three four five six branches in total but i'll just skip it the probability that you're let's say an an air customer and you're a go customer we could calculate these as well using the multiplication rule and let me show you that okay so the multiplication rule there's two versions of it Okay. There's two versions. Okay. Uh, it says, let me get a different colour marker here. So here we have our multiplication, multiplication rule. Okay. okay, so we have our multiplication rule. And the multiplication rule says that the probability of A and B is simply equal to the product of their probabilities. It's the probability of A times the probability of B. When A and B are independent, independent of each other okay uh, and then the other thing is that the probability of a and b is equal to the probability of a times the probability of b knowing that a has happened if they're dependent on each other okay and actually the thing to know here is this is that if they are independent well then these two probabilities will actually be equal to each other okay so what we should actually always do let's just actually calculate our probabilities based off this second rule because if they are actually independent this probability the probability of being knowing a actually just re reduces this reduces down to the probability of just the probability of B the extra information of knowing a has given you no extra inf really extra information uh, with respect to the probability of B okay so we'll use this rule so let's have a look at it so we need to calculate the probability the probability that our Vodafone and their bill pay customers well let's use the second rule here so that gives us this is equal to the probability that our Vodafone let's call Vodafone a and bill pay B that our Vodafone customers times the probability that they're bill pay customers knowing that they're Vodafone customers well the probability that they're Vodafone customers are it's a marginal probability it's a simple probability Vodafone customers there's 20 of them out of 100 so that's 20 out of 100 okay uh, times the probability that their bill pay but not just that their bill pay knowing that they're Vodafone so we know that they're Vodafone so we know that they're in here they're one of these 20 they're one of these 20 people here so the probability that their bill pay is how many bill pays are there here out of the 20? Well, there's 10. So that gives us a probability of 10 over 20, 
which they cancel, which gives us a probability of 10 over 100. Okay. Let's do this the other way around. The probability that their bill pay and their Vodafone, see what we get here, okay? Well, that's the same as the probability that their bill pay times the probability that their Vodafone, knowing that their bill pay. So let's calculate this. So the probability that their bill pay, hmm, their bill pay, we have, there's 30 people. It's a marginal probability. It's a simple probability. There's 30 out of 100, so that gives us 30 out of 100, okay? Times the probability that their Vodafone knowing that their bill pay. So now we know that their bill pay, so we know that they're in this column here. There's 30 people there. What's the chances that they're Vodafone? We have 10 chances out of 30. So we have 10 out of 30, which you can see the 30s cancelled to give us 10 out of 100 as expected, okay? And we can continue on. We can do more of these probabilities. Let's say we want to know what's the probability that 